All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. This is uh, not a first play on launch day, but how about a first play on second day? I want to go ahead and thank the developer for handing me an evaluation copy of his new game. Uh, this is Mount Heal. A terrible accident at a nuclear test site has led to a radioactive cloud engulfing the suburbs. Mount Heal citizens got stuck at ground zero in the infection zone and were forced into quarantine. All right, guys, I can't say I expect a whole lot from any game with a name like Mount Heal. It's kind of like saying, hey, Grassy Grass or, um, I don't know, Mount Heal, uh, Plateau Flats. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It's like saying Mountain, Mountain, Mountain. I mean, a mountain and a heel are basically the same thing. So, whatever. But we're going to be back and try out this new violent horror survival horror game right after this. Zaxter 99. All right, welcome back, everybody. Made with Unity, says the introduction. And here we are, guys, with new game, no option to continue because I don't have a game. Options, let's check that out. We have sounds, we have ambient, fantastic graphics are default. Not a whole lot of options here, but to, hey, now my only options are quit or new game. Let's go ahead and go into new game, shall we? Left mouse is to interact, shift is to run, and escape is menu. Okay, space to start. Somewhere in Texas. Hmm, thanks a lot. All right, so here we are, guys, in Mount Heal. I guess this is Mount Heal right here. Uh, okay. A mountain that's a hill, and this is somewhere in Texas, it said. So, um, yeah, I mean, I remember Texas being brown. I used to live in Texas when I was a kid, but... Uh, I don't remember any rocks this big. I don't remember any mountains this steep either. All right. Broken fence. Can I jump off? First thing I'm going to try to do is jump off and see if I can crash the game. you got to give every game a test like that, right? Can't run through a tree. I guess that's a good sign. Uh, there's no jump button, sadly. So if there was a jump button, I bet you I could get over this stupid fence. All right, well, the developer blocked that off pretty good, so imbeciles like me can't kill myself. All right, good job, developer. All right, what do we have here? Black Side Post, the weekly newspaper. All Mount Hill citizens have disappeared. How does this relate to the recent tragedy? And look at the picture. I guess that is Mount Hill. Yeah, I guarantee you guys that mountain, that picture there, no, nowhere in Texas looks like that. That is like, that looks like Idaho where I live. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't think there's any hills that big in Texas. Anyway. Well, we got one place to go. We can't get on the bike. I guess, uh, I guess the bike is of no use. At least right now, right? Oh, I turned my light on automatically. I thought, I was like, what the hell happened? Ooh, okay. I guess that's saying you're not going that way into the wall, Demi. Okay. So we are in a mine. Okay. Well, I got two little red glowy lights up here. I guess that means I need to go up here. Hey. Does not work. Imagine that. And this is uh, fuel. Yep, gasoline is needed. All right. Well, we're not going this way. And we're not going that way, so we only have this way to go. All right. What? Ooh, I thought I saw something. Oh, that was a shadow. I thought that was like a monster with arms right there. Boy. Tell you what. Left mouse button to push. Oh shit. What the hell is that? Hello? Mommy? 
Mommy! Was that you? What the hell is that? Oh my god! Help! Woo! He shot me! He shot at me, guys! Oh my god! Oh, there's some gasoline right there. Sweet! Who? Mommy? No? Don't kill me, Mommy. Oh shit. He's trying to kill me, guys. Ah! He's trying to kill me. I see you. Okay, we're going this way. Yikes. That's pretty freaking terrifying. Alright. We got our gas. Here we go. Woo! More gas is needed. What the hell? Are you sure about that? Let's go. Oh shit, he's coming. Oh god. Help! I don't want to go back looking for more gas. Do I have to? Mommy? 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 Oh, I see him. I see him through the fence. Okay. Push, 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 run. Where are you? It's so freaking dark. God dang. Ah, I'm a little bit jumpy. Jesus Christ, this thing's, for whatever reason, is terrifying the crap out of me. All right. Ah. He, he, he hits the wall. I saw that, buddy. Come on. Bring it. Oh, he hit me, you son of a bitch. All right, I'm just going. I'm just going for it, guys. Oh, he's hitting me. Oh, my God. No. Miss. Ha, ha, ha. You missed me. Ha, ha. Let's get a close-up. Oh, it's a pig. It's a pig. He's, he's running his finger across his throat. Look at that. Wow, okay. All right, and I'm dead. I kind of expected that. All right. We know what we're doing now, guys. We know what the hell we're doing. We got to get gas. We got to avoid this thing. And we got to get the hell out of here. All right. We know he's over here. Let's go ahead and push this a minute. Hide. Hide. Ah! Run. Hide. Ooh. Ha ha, you missed me. Ha ha. Ha ha. I think it's the sound of that rusty, uh, that rusty freaking wheelchair. It's creepy. It's not so much the, uh, horrendous looking pig thing. It's that freaking rusty sound of the wheels of the wheelchair. And the music! The music is horrifying! That music, man. I think that music is, uh... Ha ha! You missed me. Quit running your finger across your throat, buddy. You're an idiot. You're an idiot! Come on. Come on over here. Good boy. Good boy. Now I'll run back here. I got my gas, but I need more gas. Yep, need more gas. All right. Shit. Hi, you son bitch. That's a miss, bud. Hey, I did it a little bit. I got it a little bit. A little bit more. And he's firing at me. Man, I'm starting to get sick. I'm starting to get, like, nause nauseated because of the horrendous freaking... I don't know, the motion blur or something. Yeah, I'm starting to feel queasy. I also haven't eaten tonight. That might be part of it. But I'm starting to feel a little bit queasy here. It wouldn't be the first time shitty-looking freaking horror graphics have made me feel... 
queasy to my stomach. Come on, Mr. Fella. Come on, Mr. Fella. What's up, buddy? I love you too, man. Damn it, we're just going for it. We are going for it, guys. Alright, quit shooting me, you bastard. Ouch. I'm probably dead next shot. Damn it. Alright. Get the hell out of here. Looking for more gas. There we go. We got some. But one more hit, I'm dead. I wonder if there's any health kits or anything. Yeah, I'm seeing all blurry and shit. Alright. Two gases. I'm all blurry. More gas is needed after two? How many more freaking gases do you want, buddy? Good grief. Yeah, I'm gonna be dead. I can't even... Like, it was blurry and dark enough. But now it's, uh... I guess you gotta keep pushing this, maybe. Oh, God. Like, it doesn't look like I'm healing over time, either. can't squat down or nothing. Yeah. Okay. Alright, guys. I don't know how much game there is here. I'm guessing that if you figure out how to get past this guy and not get shot, um, I'm guessing you're going to move on to another room. I'm guessing maybe four or five different little areas is probably all there is of this game. I would be astonished and absolutely shocked if there was more than like an hour of gameplay here once you figure everything out um this is better than your average game guru game the problem is it's so darky and i think there's so much motion blur in the game that it's actually making me feel queasy uh maybe it's just the craptastic graphics i don't know but sometimes these games like this do get to me and I think it's just the uh, I think it's just the quick motion and the motion blur or something. I don't know. I don't get queasy and feeling sick to my stomach in a lot of games, but that is the reason I don't have more patience for this game tonight. Based on what I've seen, guys, four ninety nine seems like a lot of money for a game like this. Um, I, I, this is probably a game that I would only maybe play with if it was on sale, like two bucks or less. But uh, you know, make up your own minds for what you've seen there, guys. I mean, I guess you could have a little bit of fun with it, but for five bucks, I just think you could do a lot better with your money. Uh, there's a lot better horror games out there. If you're looking for something that doesn't make you feel nauseated by playing it, and you're looking for something actually really scary, look for games like, like Night Blights, um, Boogeyman, stuff like that. In my opinion, those are a lot better games for your money. Uh, and also, they're probably not going to make you feel queasy and sick to your stomach. I'm not saying everybody will feel that way, but... I think the graphics are so crappy and there's so much motion blur and you can't turn it off in the option, sadly, that, uh, yeah, it's definitely giving me uh, some nausea uh, just playing the game. So anytime a game gives me nausea just playing it, yeah, I'm done. Guys, if I had to give this a grade, value is going to be really low. And I would, like I say, I would be surprised if there's more than an hour of gameplay here. I'm just saying once you actually figure it out, uh, it may take you two or three hours to figure out how to get past this ridiculous crap because uh, I mean you're just gonna have to be patient you're gonna have to keep dodging and, and going back and forth and just pushing the thing a little bit at a time and then running behind the wall and hiding but uh, yeah uh, I don't got the patience for that tonight uh, but uh, yeah I'd, like I said I'd be surprised if there's more than 45 minutes or an hour worth of content here I'd be shocked and based on that at 4.99 I don't think most people are going to play this the five hours that would be required to give this a good value score. The value score, guys, is a 10 out of uh, 40. 
Uh, and uh, based on what I'm seeing so far and based on my experience with video games and what do I, what I expect of this game. Um, fun. This game wasn't a whole lot of fun to me. Um, out of 30 points, I'd give this game maybe a 5. Uh, controls and bugs. Yeah. I'm going to say the motion blur and the inability to turn off the motion blur or whatever is making me feel queasy in this game is a huge negative. Uh, the fact that, uh, I don't know, the fact that there's just not a whole lot to do. There's no squat option. There's no uh, no guns. No, You don't even control your own lighting or anything. Uh, it's going to take away from this. I'm going to give it 10 out of 20 for controls and bugs. And then for graphics and sound, uh, the sound and the music is pretty good. However, the graphics are horrible uh, and so bad that they're making me feel sick to my stomach. So I got to take away from that. Four out of ten for graphics and sound. So if you add that all up, guys, ten out of forty for value. Uh, what did I say? Five out of thirty for for fun uh, is fifteen. And then ten for controls and bugs is twenty-five. And then four for graphics and sound is a 29%. 29% guys is about the best I can do for this game. Definitely a not recommend. I do want to go ahead and thank again the developer for handing me a free evaluation copy of this game. And again, I got to be honest about the game. Um, and it, trust me as the way I'm feeling right now, the way I'm feeling, I need to go like throw up or lay down. Yeah, 29 is a pretty good score considering the way I feel after playing this game for 15 minutes. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Be sure you rate my video. We'll see you in the next video, everybody. This has been Zax99. Take care.